Hi everyone. Today we're going to be doing a review for Nicholas Winding Rafen's new impressionistic, impressively photographed commentary on beauty and the modeling industry, The Neon Demon. Um, the Neon Demon is directed by Nicholas Winding Rafen. Uh, he directed Drive, so um, I'm a big fan of Drive. I think Drive's a fantastic movie. Um, and it stars Elle Fanning. Elle Fanning was in Super 8. She was in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And it stars Jenna Malone. Jenna Malone was in Pride and Prejudice. And she was in Into the Wild with Emil Hirsch. So, um, all right, let's talk about The Neon Demon. The Neon Demon is like, there's very, <laughs> there's very little narrative structure to The Neon Demon. I mean, it follows Elle Fanning. Elle Fanning is, um, a young woman who, I mean, she's really a, a, a teenager, teenager who has come to Los Angeles and she immediately finds work as a model, uh, at first just from somebody on the street, and then after that she's sort of seen as this um, up-and-coming superstar, and everyone is in love with her, everyone thinks she's beautiful, and the movie is about how different people react to seeing someone who is that beautiful, who is the next thing. Um, that's older models who are already established in the industry, that's, that's a talent scout, that's a photographer, that's just a, an average Joe who you think is a creep, and um, Keanu Reeves. Ah, Keanu Reeves, uh, Keanu Reeves, I forgot to mention Keanu Reeves is in the movie. Um, very small part in the movie, and I'm not going to go too much into it because if you're going to watch the movie, you'll enjoy his performance. It's basically, we'll just say it's the anti-Ted Theodore Logan is what Keanu Reeves is doing in this. Um... Elle Fanning is great. Elle Fanning is great in the movie. Um, I mean, I, I don't want to go too much into it because it does show a transformation in her character, so there is character development. But there's no, no sort of traditional plot or narrative. The movie feels... I, I use the word impressionistic to describe it because I think that it really is just a series of... At, many, at, <laughs> at several points throughout the movie, it's a series of images and music, and the music is there to convey an emotion that the character is experiencing at that time. And for that reason, I think the movie succeeds, and it succeeds admirably. The downside of the movie is it tells us nothing new about the modeling industry. I mean, if you know anything about the modeling industry, you know that they're all, like, blood-sucking vampires who are trying to... I mean, <laughs> like their idea of beauty is just really twisted and dark, and the image that they're imparting into um, the American girls minds about what beauty is and what they'll never be is already like really sort of fascist and twisted and archaic and dark but so it doesn't bring anything new to the table but that's not a that's not a problem because it, it's beautifully shot movie it's beautifully rendered movie it's got good performances and um all of that is is good and interesting but the problem is is there's no because it lacks narrative structure or at least any sort of traditional narrative structure you don't know where the movie is going at no point do you know when, you don't know when it's going to end. And there are a series of false endings, which bring about an ultimate conclusion, which I, I totally get after finishing the movie, why it was shot and directed and edited and put together in that fashion. But at the time, watching the movie is difficult to comprehend, and it really does come across, especially in the last 15 minutes of the movie, as boring and sort of ponderous, and you're questioning why it is going the way it is going. So anyway, my uh, my review for the Neon Demon is it gets a B minus, a B minus, and that's last night. I I was talking to my buddy Tony, and I told him it was a C plus <laughs> when I got right out of the movie because I was like, there are two ways to look at this. If art is an attempt to convey an emotion through especially motion pictures, is an attempt to convey emotion through sound and sight, then the movie succeeds in conveying an emotion. But if it's an attempt to tell a story using pictures and um, sound, then it fails admirably. So it succeeds, and it completely fails, and I was leaning towards the positive side because I think it's beautifully shot, and so I ended with a C plus. but then after a day of retrospect, I bumped it up to a B minus. Anyway, um, that's my review for The Neon Demon. If you, uh, if you like Nicholas w Winding Raven, who is, by the way, who is the master of Show Don't Tell, which is the art of making movies. This is 
by far, in my opinion, by far an inferior work to his uh, previous uh, movie, Drive, which he won Cannes, by the way. I think he won Cannes for Best Director for it. Um, and anyway, that's my review. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.